Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Tyrannomyciosaurus Rex, both the mini racer version and the gigantic plastic version, which is, I guess, kind of like a playset, but it functions just like a regular diecast would, and it's the same size as a regular diecast, so I think it's pretty much just a normal 155 Mattel vehicle. Let's get into it. So, of course, we have the gigantic Giga one back here. Uh, which I'll do second because I'll have to zoom the camera way out to get this guy to fit completely in. Let's look at the Mini Racer first. Um, I'm not super knowledgeable in Mini Racers. I said that in my last video uh, on the on the Rusty's Racing Center McQueen Mini that I reviewed. Um, but I did get this guy in a three pack, uh, of course, with Cave McQueen and Cave Mater. So I don't know if he's exclusive to that three pack. I think he may get a release in those like dino eggs uh, that have been showing up in stores pretty recently. So you have those like stone wheels. Uh, we saw the Pit Stoposaurus, right? The Pit Stoposaurus is being released as a single uh, in this year very soon. And he comes with like a little like rock looking tire. Um, so maybe those cars, they all had rock tires, I think. Um, so yeah not sure what i'm trying to say there you have like these little wheels out front that is supposed to signify like the um the fun fact of like the real life tyrannosaurus rex had really small arms and that's kind of a joke that is used all the time he's dark blue a little bit of a darker blue than the big 155 version is he's got this thing sticking out of his nose he's got a pretty mean expression he's got those big teeth long tail extends all the way to the ground it's like dragging on the ground whenever you roll him unless you tilt him forward and now he's rolling like that it looks pretty menacing imagine that coming towards you of course you can't really imagine because it's not real that's what the imagination is for inspirational quotes today i guess he's got all those like spikes made of metal um not actually made of metal but in the film i assume or the short i assume they're made of metal coming out of his back got all the rest blue color i mentioned and then like a yellowish white underbody and then there's like his base which has uh, like a rivet and some other colors now it's time for the big boy the big daddy dino there he is he's all the way at the back i am as far zoomed out as i can be and he is still like <laughs> not barely fitting into frame he's barely fitting into frame so I'll do my best here. You start off with these gigantic tires, uh, or I guess maybe like rock tires. It looks like they're made out of some kind of rock, of course. Nitro die cast is just plastic. Uh, something that isn't on the mini is the wheel that's back here. You can see he does not have that. I don't remember if that's in the movie or not, but that would be pretty useful if it was, or in the short, rather. I keep calling the movie um, to help him roll. This piece at the end is detachable. Um, not because it like has any kind of special function, but just because they needed it to fit in the packaging. You have this little button right here, and if you press that, his if you press um, up on that, you can see that the mouth opens and closes. So that's a very cool feature. Uh, you don't really have as much detail on the back. Uh, you can see like the spikes are painted in gray. Uh, here, they're all just in the blue, I guess, to save costs. Can't really blame them. Got a gigantic suspension. Um, and just look at that thing. If you tilt them forward, it actually doesn't roll. But it does. Uh, this, this wheel's broken, that's why. Huh. This wheel on the ground? You, they spin by themselves, but it seems like it doesn't spin when you're just kind of rolling him around. So that's a little bit annoying. Uh, same as the Mini, he is mostly the, a dark er blue, um, not as dark as the Mini if you put those colors like side by side. Um, and then you have the whitish yellow underbody. Uh, there's like technically the base kind of under his mouth. I think I was mentioning the suspension. Uh, you have like these big, uh, I guess those would be like springs. Down here, I can see more of that metal. There's the wheel that kind of moves him around. And you can see like where that part attaches there. Got all these, uh, these spikes I've mentioned. You have all these like, I guess just for texture these are. 
Um, now let's get into like the front, which is where the most of the action is happening. You have, of course, I mentioned the suspension, this giant axle um, that doesn't really do anything. You have the short arms made out of um, more rock tires. You have, um, I showed off kind of his neck. And then you have his face. Absolutely menacing. They did an incredible job with this. Uh, let me see if we can open it up like that. That is a pretty dang cool shot. Absolutely awesome. See inside his mouth, it's just kind of blank, but still. And this thing can open up like really wide. So he will eat you. There's the hood, there's like the expression. Did a wonderful job with this. As I said, I basically treat this as like a 155 scale die cast just because, I mean, it is 155 scale. Cause if you take a, a McQueen, if you remember in the show, he kind of has McQueen in his mouth. I do not yet have a Cave McQueen. Of course, I have the Mini Racer, but I don't have the Mattel diecast, and I don't even have the Tomica one. Uh, so I pulled out the XRS Mud Racer version of McQueen, just because I feel like that raised suspension kind of gives him a similar height as Cave McQueen. And you can see here, uh, let me actually zoom in a little bit. We don't really need to see the whole car anymore. If we zoom into there, uh, we open the mouth and McQueen uh, actually just fits right in, of course. Oh, that's, a uh, that's something. <laughs> uh, remember, he was kind of hanging by, like, his, uh, spoiler, kind of like, uh, that right there. So that's pretty cool. I'm definitely gonna have to try that out when I get an actual, uh, Kevin McQueen, but this XRS, XRS version will have to do for now. And, yeah, that is pretty much it for the Tyrannomyciosaurus Rex. Both the mini racer and the actual plastic big ol' thing. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.